Hi guys, welcome to my very first video and I hope you're here to tune into many more throughout the year. Um, I wanted to just go ahead and do a getting started video and this is mainly about how some things that we should be thinking of at the very beginning of the year. So first, we need to have our calendar math or daily math moment or some type of daily skill ready to go. Um, that is something that I've noticed that if it's not done effectively and if it's not done daily, it's not going to produce um, the certain things that we need in our math classes over a period of time. We're going to start seeing that deficit. So um, whatever grade level you're with, figure out what the key components are that those kids need for your grade level. Granted, we're starting off the school year, so go back to the grade before, if it's first grade, if it's fourth grade. What are some of those things that they should know before they get to your grade and start there? And start with that, whether it's calendar math, daily math moment, or something that you create. I love all the freedom that we're getting now, but don't forget about going back to the basics. We have to, have to, have to. And that is something Ms. Mingle is going to want to have. We have to have a daily skill that we're working on every day. Whether we have a number of the day, whether we have a certain skill um, worksheet, again, you want to make it as interactive as possible. And you also want to make sure kids have something to do while you're doing it. They're not just sitting there watching you as you're going over calendar math. Either get whiteboards and meet them at the carpet, um, get a journal and let that be your daily math journal and y'all can um, do problems in it, but we gotta have something. Um, I will be going around the rooms to see what we have um, in, in plan for your daily math skills, and um, I'm supposed to report back to that. Um, also, I just wanted to talk about, um, every day when I start my math class, sorry, I was looking at my notes to be honest with you. <laughs> every day before I start my math class, I say, you know what, how can I make this day fun? Um, how can I make this lesson fun? How can I make this activity fun? Because I know that if I'm having fun, my kids are having fun. And I want to make sure I say two things with that. Yes, you want to have fun, but you also want to make sure the kids are getting what you're, what you're doing. So if you had a great lesson, but they didn't really learn anything, then that goes out the door. So you want to find a great lesson that is teaching your actual SE. That is exactly what you're supposed to be teaching to the standards and then bumping it up a notch. So if it's your book, how can you make that more fun? Maybe you can um, do stations. Maybe you can hang questions around the room. Um, those little things every now and then are going to make your classroom more engaging and your students more engaged. Creating something into a Nearpod. And remember, once it's created, it's there. So you could keep it for the next year. So I love that um, tool as well. So um, that's all for now. Just um, wanted to give you some pointers on getting started. I hope you guys have an amazing year. I'm here to help you. Please, if you have not done so yet, give me your schedule for your math. Um, so that way, if I can pop in and give you some pointers on anything that I can give you on, then I will do that. And of course, um, your Google Drive, every single grade level has their own Google Drive. So not only am I going to be able to share things, I want you guys to share things. I don't know everything for sure. And I want you guys to share things with your team. Maybe you have a great idea in first or second or third or fourth or fifth or sixth. There's a lot of you. Um, maybe you have a good idea and I can share it with another team that can benefit from it. Okay. So if you have not done that, please do and have a great year, like I said before, and I'll talk to y'all soon.